Hey everyone, my name is Maya and I am the Allergic Chick. Welcome to my channel all about living with severe food allergies. If you're brand new here, I post new content every Wednesday evening, so make sure to hit that subscribe button and that bell icon. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to use the EpiPen if you are having a severe allergic reaction. I'll be doing the tutorial with this EpiPen training device, which you can order from their website. I'll link that below. It's really good to practice with a training device so that if you ever have to use the real thing, you are more familiar with how to use it. So I'm going to show you how to use the EpiPen with this EpiPen training device. So the very first thing you need to do is pull off this blue cap here. As soon as you've done this, um, you hold the EpiPen about 10 centimeters away from your outer thigh and you swing it and you jab it against your outer thigh. Now this is actually really different to the other adrenaline pens. Um, with the Jext and the Emeraid, you actually hold it against your thigh and push in, but with this one there is a swing motion that's needed. So you hold it here and you swing it like this and you can hear a click and you hold that in place for 10 seconds. That's one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, six Mississippi, seven Mississippi, eight Mississippi, nine Mississippi, 10 Mississippi, and then release. And you'll see that this um, orange plastic comes out which shields the needle that has been injected into your leg so you know that it's worked. Once you have done this, you can rub your outer thigh like so for about 10 seconds. This just ensures that the adrenaline is going around your body and not staying in one concentrated area. Once you've used the EpiPen, make sure to dial the ambulance and say that you are suffering from anaphylaxis. After you have used the pen, it's recommended to be in a lying down position with your feet raised, or if you are having difficulty breathing, stay sat up. Even if you are feeling better after taking your EpiPen, it's very, very important to call an ambulance and go to hospital because they need to monitor you very closely after a severe allergic reaction. If the ambulance still isn't here and you aren't feeling better after about five to 15 minutes of using the EpiPen, you can then go on to use the second pen. This is why it's so important to be carrying two everywhere and it's a good idea to use this second pen in the other leg. Once the ambulance do arrive, you can leave your used um, EpiPens with them so that they can dispose of them correctly in a sharps bin. And after you've finished your treatment in the hospital, it's very important to remember to get this re-prescribed ASAP. You don't want to be without this life-saving medication. And they can sometimes do this for you in the emergency department. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I really hope that you've learnt a lot from this video. If you do think this video is useful, please, please share it. The more people that know how to use an EpiPen in an emergency situation, the better. Last week I did a video on how to use the Emeraid Adrenaline Pen, which you can find over here. I also made another video with my top adrenaline tips, which you can find over here. If you have any comments, please leave them below in the comment section. I love replying to you guys and starting conversations. And if you have any specific topics that you'd like me to cover in future videos, leave that below too. Thank you so much for watching and stay safe.